Welcome back on this Friday. This week we marked 50 years since the assassination of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. And there were other history changing events in 1968 as well, including, of course, the very first mission to the moon. And NBC senior correspondent Tom Brokaw traveled to Chicago and met up with the men behind it. Tom, good morning. This is so cool. It is very cool. And of course, for my generation, it was kind of a life saving experience to have that at the end of that tumultuous year. And they've always kind of been my heroes, these astronauts, especially Jim Lovell, who was also known as Tom Hanks, saying, Houston, we've got a problem. Uh, so these three guys we met in Chicago, and it reminded us of how much we needed what they did at the end of that year. 1968, one of the most tumultuous years in modern America. And I will not accept President Johnson was forced from the White House by party, Senator McCarthy the and Vietnam. Where 15,000 Americans died in that one year. And we as a people will get to the promised land. Martin Luther King was murdered in Memphis. Let's go on to Chicago and let's win there. Bobby Kennedy became a presidential candidate. The senator is lying with his eyes closed. Absolutely. And was assassinated. <laughs> At the Democratic Convention in Chicago and GOP Convention in Miami, more riots over Vietnam. But in Houston and in Florida, three astronauts were preparing for the first ever rendezvous with the moon. Apollo 8, Frank Gorman, Jim Lovell, and Bill Anders. It's a technical race, a race to see who had the prestige to do something for the first time. It was a stunning success. When you came around the moon and saw the backside for the first time, no man had ever done that before. Were you still scientists or were you also romantics looking at something? We, we were three school kids looking into a candy store window. <laughs> <laughs> you know, everything was forgotten when we first saw the far side of the moon. Even more dramatic, Mother Earth seen from space for the first time. Oh my God, look at that picture over there. There's the Earth coming up. Wow, is that pretty? I think about how delicate and how colorful it was and how fragile it looked. Jim, I've often quoted you. You said, that's our spaceship and we better take care of it. It's just a, a small planet, one of nine in our solar system, just a speck in our galaxy and lost in oblivion in our universe. And on Christmas Eve, from space, the astronauts found the right words in the Bible. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth, and God saw that it was good. That was one of the beauties to me of, of the country we live in, the freedom. Uh, that wasn't a NASA or a government input. They, they just told us just to do something appropriate. A new book, Rocket Men, captures the joyous worldwide reaction to this historic achievement. It seems there's not a person in America or even all the world who could disagree that something beautiful and miraculous had taken place. It really brought everyone together. And I think that Bill got this, this telegram that said, what, uh, you made 1968? Save, save. You saved 1968? Yeah. A half century ago, these three daring Americans gave people around the world hope and pride in the human spirit. I think all three of us were happy that we were a part of that time. And it was successful. And this week, as they gathered at the Museum of Science and Industry in Chicago, Borman, Lovell, and Andrews were humble <laughs> and grateful for the opportunity. Wow. Wow. And the great thing about them is that they're still humble and they're full of wit, and they all have different personalities, but they mold them together in life and, of course, on that mission to the moon. It's just hard to describe, unless you're alive at that time, how welcome that moment was at the end of the year. I remember in August thinking to myself, at that point I was uh, 28 years old, and I thought, the world will never be the same again. Yeah. And at the end of the year, I thought, there's hope. Yeah, with well, something about getting that perspective, right, of our planet and our Earth from that vantage point. Wow. Tom, thank you so good much. To see you, Tom. My pleasure. You guys Thanks look good, too. They look like they're ready to go yes, again. Yes, they do.